Disk space issues are some of the most common issues that DBAs have to face. In organizations where the database systems are well tested before production, compliant with best practices, one of the things that can never be avoided is the issue of space. Data normally tends to grow and in some database applications very abruptly. We have to build a procedure to first identify it in time and second solve it quickly. Let's see how easy this is with SQL Checkup. So with SQL Checkup the DBA first of all monitors the summary page. The summary page shows the monitored server status and alerts divided into two groups, critical and warnings. Here in the new alerts row, we see that there are four new critical alerts. We click on the link to see the alerts. One of the alerts is the load disk space alert, and that's what we're going to work on today. The consequence of load disk space can be disastrous. The applications running on the disk might fail and cause service disruption. Let's look at the alert. It was generated just recently, eight minutes ago. We see the exact time of the alert, and the alert is not resolved yet. Some alerts resolve themselves, like, for example, this one resolved itself. CPU utilization was above the critical threshold for five minutes, the last value 99%. Its status is now resolved. The disk space alerts are unlikely to resolve themselves unless you have the option auto shrink turned on, which is not recommended. The only option is to interfere. We right click on alerts and select go to drive overview. Here we see that indeed the space on the drive is low, just 4% or 26 gigabytes. We go back to the previous panel and read alert message again. It says disk free space is 8.32%, which is below the critical threshold 10%. It means that since 8 minutes ago when the alert was generated, the free space dropped twice and we really have to act fast to avoid the application shutdown. Click on panel forward and here in the drive overview we see that there are 30 database files on the drive. Click on the link. If we sort by file size in gigabytes, we'll see who are the biggest space eaters. But at this point we're more interested in the files that have a bigger amount of free space, so we can shrink them. The database file on the top has 126 gigabytes of free space. That's a lot. But wait a second before you sh jump in to shrink them. The file also has 53 gigabytes of used space, and it means that shrinking the file will take a long time, maybe hours and we can't afford to wait that long. Considering that it's a log file, not a data file, we can free the space inside the file by backing up the log, but it's also going to take a long time. So one important column we pay attention to is use space in gigabytes. We need only DB files with low use space. We have one here, business analysis. Another one, and another one. We highlight all the lines. Uh, actually, let's include a file with high use space, just to see if SQL Checkup has an opinion on our selection. Then right-click to show the context menu and select Script Shrink File. Then reorganize pages to release unused space. The pop-up window shows us the script and there's a comment for the file with the high use space. The use space of the logical file Enterprise Analysis Log is 70 gigabytes and might require time and resources to complete the shrink and operation. It's recommended to run the command at a time of low activity. We were warned, so we'll take off the file from the list. Click Copy to Clipboard, switch to SQL Server Management Studio, and paste the script. Just a quick comment, um, SQL Checkup is a read-only tool. It changes nothing on the monitored servers, it doesn't even create agent DBs or table or stored procedures on the monitored servers, and it's not meant to substitute SQL Server Management Studio. So we use it here. We paste the script and click on Execute. We know that the execution is going to be quick. Okay, it's done. Switching back to SQL Checkup Console, right-click the grid and select Refresh. Usually data in Repository DB are refreshed automatically from the monitored servers, according to the schedule we set up in Manage Monitored Servers dialog. However, DB usage is normally collected with low frequency as the data is not often a subject of change and in our case, knowing that the change is going to be there, we want to see the fresh numbers. So we select refresh. The message box informs us that we're going to collect DB usage data, though it'll be a short collection. No table and index data. We select yes and again wait for a short while. The data is collected as we speak. Normally it's quick if table and index data are not collected, but it all depends on the number of DBs on the servers. Actually, let's check. Jump to the DB panel, then to DB overview panel and see. 255 databases on the instance with a total use space 5 terabytes. Click on DB summary, then on resume refresh. 
By the way, here we'll see the refresh data arrived when the new timestamp appears in the timestamp tree. Here we go. The new data has been collected. Clicking on panel back to return to the drive DB files list, the database business analysis is now at the bottom of the space consumers list. Free space is now just 0.19 gigabytes. We can take a look at the chart showing how the DB space for business analysis was changed recently. For that we jump to DB summary, then click trends. DB log space was dropped to almost nothing. Click on the panel back to see the drive space usage. The free space increased to 44%. Also, we can see the counters for the drive by clicking on performance counters. Here we see percent disk idle time was very low recently, which we expected considering how rapidly the disk space was used up. The chart is kind of gloomy, which indicates the counter value should raise a concern. We can right click to see the details, and yes, concern is high. To know what processes caused the high disk space activity on the drive, we jump to active processes. And here we see a number of processes with high I.O. activities. Click on the previous timestamp. We can see the previous minute activity. Clicking on back in history to see the minute before, etc, etc. So we can do an investigation. If we get back to alerts, we still see the alert is unresolved. Because it needs a scheduled job processing alerts to be completed and the job runs every three minutes. For the sake of the demo, let's not wait three minutes, let's just run the job manually. It's done. We switch to the alerts panel and see the alert is resolved. So, mission accomplished. We freed the disk space, now the applications on the SQL Server instance has breathing room and we can work on identifying the applications causing the high disk space usage with the help of SQL Checkup and work on reducing the log space usage. Or we might find the disk space needs to be expanded by the storage group or some DBs need to move to a different drive, for example. But we're done with this topic. Thank you for using SQL Checkup and all the best with monitoring your SQL servers.